Hello and welcome to Tech Raptor. Today we're here talking about Dungeons and Dragons. Um, we were lucky enough to have sent to us from WizKids this amazing, incredible Icons of the Realms Van Richten's Guide to Ravenloft Collector's Edition Miniatures Box. Now inside this is 60 different miniatures that are all related to the Van Richten's Guide to Ravenloft source book that came out for Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition last year. Um, you can check out a full review of all of the minis on techraptor.net but I'm going to take some time and go through kind of what are my 10 favorite minis from this set. Starting off we have the Relentless Killer. You can see in his strong stoic form wielding the scythe. This monster doesn't actually have a stat block but it's more of a concept that idea behind like the Jason Voorhees killer, the the Michael Myers, the idea of this thing is always coming. Um, there's a whole section on how to build your Relentless Killer in a campaign. The idea of this constantly chasing the character is probably going to be a lot of fun. Keep the stress high, keep people moving. Next up on our list, number nine, is the Gallows Speaker. This is one of the Ghost Story minis. As you can see there, uh, arm outstretched with some really fantastic motion happening back here with his cloth. There's a use of, uh, of transparent plastic to give that mouth that kind of lichy breath, that, that necrotic like condensation breath um, that's really fun. Next up is the Displacer Beast. This is one of the medium-sized minis in the box. There's a lot of uh, minis from small to large. Some of them you'll be seeing later on in this list. I really love just how sleek, how dark this Displacer Beast is. Got some fantastic definition on the teeth there. I really like the use of a more flexible plastic. Allows it to have more realistic movement as you move the pieces around the table. Number seven on the list, Ivana Borizzi who is the Dark Lord of Borka, the Domain of Desire and Deceit. Um, you know, this is a, one of those great tragic stories that begins a Dark Lord that she poisoned her whole family after her father deemed her not worthy to carry on the family legacy. So she killed them all and became a Dark Lord. What I really love about this is just how versatile this mini is. If you need a, a woman in power, boss bitch that knows what's up, someone for the characters to meet and potentially fight right after or during a ball, there is so many powerful female figures that, that this mini would be able to be used for. And it's just a great one to be able to pull out and have in your collection. Moving back towards the more horror themed, uh, we've got number six, The Boneless. Here in a pose exactly matching his official artwork, you can see that this is just a, a mound of flesh um, he's got a bit of a face, you can see a bit of his limbs there as well. The whole point of the Boneless is uh, answering the question of what happens when the skeleton walks away from the body? What's left? So this is a, just a really cool idea of a, of a monster that could be left behind. You know, your party fights a whole bunch of skeletons, the next room they go into, what if there's a whole bunch of Boneless around? And that's just, you know, how that natural evolution of, of horror proceeded. The next mini is not really a mini. This is the first of the huge uh, creatures. This is the Body Taker plant. Again, exactly mimicking his official artwork. You can see in the top there where he's got his head peeking out. They've used clear plastic again to uh, get the drool of this plant and again, more soft plastic on the tendrils. You can see some great movement here. Um, this really helps to let your players know as well that they've got to watch for that 20 foot reach. You're gonna get hurt from this. <laughs> After the body taker plant, number four on our list, the, the great, the classic is uh, Strahd himself. This is a really great mini of Strahd. You can see his, you know, deck to the nines in all of his, uh, all of his attire from the portraits. He's got his sword drawn. And he's actually got, it's a bit difficult to tell, he's got an entourage of bats around him. The kind of, the way that they connect uh, wing to body to wing to tail to everything. It, with a bit of a zoomed out view, it kind of looks a little bit like a really dark cactus is growing behind him. But when you have a chance to get up on him and see that definition, it looks really cool. Really, really enhances the, uh, the Strahd figure. Now, 
The next uh, mini, number three on the list, is a little bit of a cheat. It's going to be a two-part. We've got the Nightmare, and on top of that, we have um, Dullahan. So these are actually two that work together. Quite interestingly, these minis are modular. You're able to take off the saddle on the back of Dullahan very easily as well. You can just take it apart. The mini set comes with it, a small set of legs for Dullahan. So you can slot him right in there and then just detach the torso on the other part of the mini. And suddenly uh, what was a separate headless horseman and horse is now a single mini for your party to take on. Number two, moving into the cosmic horror uh, genre from the book, is the Greater Starspawn Emissary. Um, I mean, there's really not much more I need to say about this one. Uh, this is terrifying. Uh, the numbers of teeth and spine spines and ridges and tentacles that this just amalgam of muscle and flesh contains within it uh, is terrifying. Um, I defy any table to have this place down in front of them and not immediately panic. And going from number two to our number one on the list, this is the big piece. This is the monster, the Grave Drinker from the domain of dread um and it's enormous it it truly is with sets of teeth going all the way back this whole thing absolutely gorgeous it's got the different markings the runes on the inside um it once again put this on a table your party's going to be freaking out just to get a better idea of scope and scale let's go back to that gallows speaker that we were looking at earlier. That's where we're at. This is the difference. Um, this is a absolute sight to behold. A really fantastic, I'm not even sure you can call it a mini anymore, but just such a cool addition. Uh, looking forward to throwing that into a game the first chance I get. So that was just the 10 that I really liked. In this entire box, you can get uh, 60 different minis. Um, you can also purchase blind boxes of them individually or in sets of eight to try to build up a collection. Um, overall, this box is really versatile. It's got a lot of uh, multi-purpose, multi-use minis that you can get a lot of fun out of. Um, again, if you want to check out the full review, you can head over to techraptor.net um, and get a better look at these minis and more. Thanks for watching.